Ave Maria. I am Fraya François Henry from Benin, West Africa. I am Franciscan Friar of the Immaculate since 2012, and I am seminarian in Rome. Since 1991, the Franciscan Friars of the Immaculate have been in Africa, specifically in Benin, Cameroon, and Nigeria. Our work in Africa is simple. Save lives and souls. Through the mediation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of all nations, Mediatrix of all graces, to whom the Franciscans of the Immaculate are totally consecrated, in the footsteps of St. Francis and St. Maximilian, to Jesus, Brook Mary. We have pledged ourselves to work together in building up the body of Christ, which is the Church, by contemplative prayer and action to bring souls through Mary Immaculate to the heart of Jesus. For this reason, our primary task is to give Mary Immaculate to souls, to make her discovered and known, to make her loved by every heart using every licit means. So, through the whole world, and specifically in Africa, we are trying to organize the movement known as Mission of the Immaculate Mediatrice, according to the teaching and example of St. Maximilian Mary Colby. To guide and form Marian groups, especially among youth and the family. To organize and develop Marian catechesis by way of systematic instruction and also by way of conferences directed to various sectors of society, family, school, and parishes, etc. To produce Marian radio and television programming for our own stations or for other broadcasters. To organize works of charity, to disseminate Marian publication and all that speaks of Our Lady through bookstores, exhibits, film, audio and video, etc. To spread the devotion of the Miraculous Medal and the Holy Rosary. To organize and promote Marian prayer groups. To establish Marian retreat houses. In Africa, we are doing this hard but beautiful work in Benin, Cameroon, and Nigeria, which have produced much fruit. In Benin, we have two friaries, one at Alada in the south and one at Bembereke, north of Benin. At Alada, in Benin, every year during the weekend of the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of Our Lady, or during the following weekend, up to 25,000 faithful come on a diocesan pilgrimage for three days. They come to pray to their Blessed Mother. Also during the year, many parishes, prayer groups, and Catholic schools come in pilgrimage to our shrine. At Alada, we also have Radio Immaculate Concession, which is the Catholic radio station of Benin and broadcast 24 hours every day and through a network of eight FM stations reaching eight million people in the entire nation where radio is a most important mass media. Its programming is meant to appeal to everybody in Benin, and while respecting the different cultures of the people of Benin, to bring them all to the light of the eternal and universal message of the gospel through the mediation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and in this way to develop and build up the civilization of love. Our friars in Benin also carry out a water well drilling program, a well for life, to give clean water to many people who don't have this basic necessity. We set this up so that the spigots are outside in a public area and everybody can come to have free water. At Bembereke, in the north part of Benin, where almost everyone in the area is Muslim, we have a shrine and the biggest primary center for all the north. We also have a St. Maximilian Corby House of Charity for orphans, homeless, and needy boys. In that house, about 60 boys, maybe 100 next year, live with us, and we try to nourish them and give them a good human 
and spiritual education and formation to help them with all their needs. Even though many of them are from Muslim families, we pray together and they like to serve the Holy Mass, the Eucharistic benediction, and they pray the Holy Rosary. From this, many have asked to become Catholic and even remain so to this day. Thanks be to God. In Nigeria, we have two friaries, Atijabuibo and Shagamu, which includes one parish, two shrines, and four charity schools. The schools are for orphans, homeless, and needy, totaling about 400 children in four different villages. All the schools are in really poor areas, and without us, these children could not go to a distant school. In our school, they receive a very good human and religious education, a healthy formation. Future plans in Nigeria include building a radio station which can cover all Nigeria. Our mission has expanded into Cameroon as well. We have been in Cameroon since 2008. Our parish in the city of Douala has three chapels and about 5,000 faithful. Our three priests work very hard to minister to the faithful, each celebrating four to five masses every Sunday. While Our Lady's intercession has already produced wonderful fruits in Africa, there is still more to do, and we need your help. Our most pressing concerns include the need for electrical equipment, transportation, and more water wells. Electrical equipment. We need solar panel system for our radio station at Alada. Since 1998, we received help from the government of Benin. But since July of this year, the government stopped helping us. And now we have to pay for the electricity, which is about $2,600 per month. Currently, we are not capable of paying that and could lose the station which is central to our entire network of eight radio stations in Benin. We need financial donations to cover this bill, but also to install solar power and generators, which will not only defray the monthly bill, but will give the station a second source of power during the frequent outages from the power company. Transportation. To do our hard work, we need cars. We have only two working cars in all of Benin. Transportation is needed for our apostolate work like evangelization and leading devotion and liturgy, for the radio station and for our charity work. For our charity school, many of our boys have to work several miles to come to school. We also provide transportation for many children out of charity, which helps with evangelization, especially around our friary at Alada. All of the vehicles need to be 4x4 pickup trucks or SUVs because of the treacherous roads. Water was a well for life. Even though the government of Benin and many organizations and missionaries are working hard to give clean water to everyone in Benin, many people are without water or only have access to contaminated water. Lack of clean water is a source of many diseases. Helping provide such basic necessities is a great means to open people's heart to the faith. This is especially true in the arid north of Benin which is predominantly Muslim. We also have various other needs, foodstuffs, poultry equipment, domestic appliances, house cleaning items, outdoor equipment and maintenance items, computer equipment, shower sound equipment, school supplies and gym equipment for our charity schools and house of charity, and equipment like large outdoor tents, tables, and chairs for all the thousands of people who come on pilgrimage to our shrine. 
Helping the Franciscan of the Immaculate in their work in Africa is a wonderful way to continue to save lives and souls and bring others closer to Jesus through Mary. Ask our Blessed Mother in prayer to help put on your heart how you can best impact the African mission. What touches your heart? Whether through prayer or a donation, we appreciate your acts of charity and sacrifice. God bless you. Ave Maria.